Hemasters Playwright includes the ability to produce and visually compare screenshots using a simple command. I want to explain you how you can get this beautiful report where you can see the differences between two screenshots of a web page. Also, you can check the difference highlighted as you can see over here. And well, I want to show you at the end of the video as well a beautiful trick to a compare is small and individual components. I hope that you love this video. Let me know in the comment sections what do you think about it at the end of the video. And let's go ahead and take a look of this beautiful uh, functionality. Okay, masters, I want to explain you pretty quick, quickly what is going to happen in this video and in this application. Okay, basically, we're gonna visit this uh, URL, the to do MVC application, and we're going to have three different to dos in the to-dos app, okay? So we're going to have as well two tests. The first one is that it should allow me to mark all items as completed. So as you can see in this command, it is going to come here to the to-dos application and it is going to check every single item, okay? And then the second test is going to help me to check if it should allow me to clear the completed state of all items, okay? So I'm gonna expand this and you're gonna see the difference. Basically is that uh, it is going to check and immediately it is going to uncheck. Just to make sure that the application has the capability of, well, mark and clear the results, okay? That's beautiful. And that's it. Uh, now I want to explain you what is going to happen in my test to get the screenshots and make the comparison. Let's go ahead and take a look of how it works. Masters, the first advice that I want to give you is that, well, you can come here to the official documentation, visual comparisons in Playwright, and you can see all the options and all the configurations that you may use for your own tests. Also, you can see what is the library that they use, which in this case is Pixel Match, and all the options that you have available for uh, the different, well, environments and configurations that you may want to do. Okay. That's the first uh, step that I want to uh, talk about. And then I want to show you how easy it is to integrate this with your framework. Okay. So I have a couple of tests. Okay. Here, the ones that I just explained to you. And the first one is should allow me to mar mark all items as completed. How to get the visual comparison of this? As simple as this line. Await, expect the page to have a screenshot. This is the magic. This is the method that you need to use, okay? And then I have the same line of code for the clear, the complete state of all items, as you can see, to have a screenshot, okay? Now that I have this line of code uh, included in the script, as it is just a matter of execute well, your script using MPX Playwright test. In my case, I just want to uh, execute one particular uh, visual diff spec, okay? So that's why I'm adding uh, this over here. So I'm gonna run it, and the first time that you execute this, you're gonna see an error. The error is as simple as, um, well, this one. A snapshot doesn't exist at the repository. It is writing an actual one. So this is basically taking the base screenshot for your future comparisons, okay? That's an expected issue. Okay, so now if I run this again in the future, right, you're gonna see that my tests are gonna work fine and probably the assertion is gonna come in green because it is working fine, okay? So let me open again the report. And there it is. You can see a lot of green marks because, well, mark is completed in Chrome is fine. Also in Firefox and WebKit because, well, the, the assertion have no errors. Okay. So that's it. Now in the next part of the video, I want to explain you a, uh, well, how to create an error to see the difference, how you can update your baseline screenshots. And at the end, uh, well, a super advice that I want to show you. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay. Masters, in my case to explain you or demonstrate that the comparison is working fine. I'm going to get rid of this line of code of the first test. The test is about it should allow me to mark all items as completed. Okay. So I'm going to, well, get rid of this check a command. You well, to create a failure for you. Okay. I know it is not a, a real scenario, but it is just a matter of a demonstration. Okay. So it is going to 
I'm gonna run the same command as before. We have a baseline image, and of course, we're gonna have a difference because if I open this one, you're gonna see that I was expecting to have every single to do uh, item uh, mark right checked, but now the actual is that I don't have anything checked because I uh, commented the line of code that makes that action, right? So the difference is this one, you can see in red, what is going on, what is the difference? And also in the actual result, you can use this bar to see the differences between the actual and the baseline. I think it's beautiful and it could get a, a, well, a lot of advantages for you. Now, let's imagine that for some reason, the expected, expected image needs to be updated with a new one. Okay, I don't know, maybe the green checks that I have here, they're going to change it to yellow. I don't know. You're going to need sometimes to update the baseline images. And we have a command for that in Playwright. If I open Visual Studio Code here, you're going to have this line of code for reference, which is MPX Playwright Test, as always. But then you need to use this flag, uh, dash dash update the snapshots. Using this line of code in your terminal, right? Let me just... Um, paste it here just for reference, okay? You're going to have this beautiful command to update the base images for next iterations, for new executions. Okay, masters, as I promised, I wanted to give you an extra tip of using this visual diff functionality, okay? I am going to only execute this particular test, which is going to help me to check if the input element is rendering correctly, okay? So if I open the application, okay, let me show you this one. The input element that I want to make sure that is rendering fine is this one. Input class new to do. Basically this, well, input uh, element that we have in the web page that is going to help us to create new to do's, write down and uh, well, fill the list over here, okay? Uh, I only want to make a visual comparison of this element and it is possible using a simple trick. I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code, I'm gonna open my test and you're gonna see two lines of code here, okay? The first one is going to be a constant, which is going to be named input element. And I'm gonna be using the page that locator with the class new to do to make reference to this particular input element in the web page. Okay, that's it. And then I'll be using the same line of code than before, but now I'm gonna expect only the input element, okay, that I referenced before. And I'll be using to have a screenshot with a, a well, a screenshot name, input element.png. Now, if I run this the first time, if you remember correctly, the first time we're gonna have an issue because we don't have a baseline. But now, as you can see in this in, in the report, well, it has a created one. And if I scroll down, you can see the screenshot. And this is only the component that I was trying to take on a snapshot and compare, okay? I think it's pretty useful because sometimes you only want to make sure that some components are okay in your page and this is the way of how you can handle it. And of course, when I run this again, right, we're going to have, uh, uh, well, I, I'm going, I am not going to have errors because everything is working fine. And now I am checking that only one component in the web page is working fine. Okay. Let me open the report again and you're going to see that. It is working fine in Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit, okay? So masters, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section what do you think about it. Please subscribe and hit the like button. It is gonna help me a lot. And well, share this with your test colleagues. I hope that they find this useful as well. Thank you very much masters and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.